All eyes are on Governor Greitens' investigation. Not making headlines are smaller pieces of legislation that could have some real impact. And those proposals are quietly and slowly working their way through Jefferson City. Here's investigative reporter Angie Racono. Here's something that caught our attention. There is a new proposal that would limit the amount of time a person has to sue over a defective and dangerous product. You get 10 years. One sponsor calls this common sense and says frivolous lawsuits have driven up the cost of business. But opponents say, don't kid yourself. This is a wink and nod to big business. I spoke truth to power. Brett Adams is a father who never suspected he'd wage war against a guardrail manufacturer. And now, Jefferson City lawmakers. They get a free pass after 10 years, and that's wrong. Adams recently testified against House Bill 1611 and Senate Bill 596, two proposed pieces of legislation that pretty much cap legal options against manufacturers at 10 years. You had all these uh, big corporations and their lobbyists in favor, I'm in favor, I'm in favor, I'm in favor, and then I'm like... I'm against. Adams is concerned about guardrails. The weather here is beautiful today. His daughter Charity was just 16 when she died in a terrible crash. I went down uh, the hill because it's my baby, you know. And I uncovered her and kissed her on the forehead. Adams and his legal team argued the guardrail designed to protect became a spear which killed Charity. They say the guardrail was defective by design. There are mounting lawsuits against ETA guardrails, a product designed to last 20, even 30 years. They are still out there. Adams' lawyer points to airbags and other products with known defects. He feels time limits will only protect large corporations while limiting options for his clients. It just shouldn't happen. Kent Emerson argues lawsuits should be heard by juries. And under current law, a client must prove a product was defective or poorly manufactured at the time it was produced. So let's take car crashes. You can't sue a manufacturer because your 2000 vehicle doesn't have lane changing sensors or a backup camera. But Emerson is suing General Motors for this Missouri vehicle, which is more than 10 years old. He says this picture shows the airbag never deployed due to a faulty ignition switch. He's arguing defective product and says GM knows it. If this law passes, I'm going to get a call from a family and I'm going to have to tell them, you know what? Missouri politicians passed this law and there's no responsibility to this corporation after 10 years, even though it's a horribly defective product that Missouri won't allow on its roadways. That's, that's crazy. Uh, there's, there's no logic or reason behind this. But Emerson and his clients suspect there is the promise of money behind it. There have been vicious open accusations on the House floor of pay to play, where big businesses donate money and then lawmakers push their agendas. To be fair, KCTV5 never found a specific money trail leading to the sponsors on this specific issue. Representative Curtis Trent is a Republican from Springfield. He canceled a scheduled interview. Republican Senator Jeannie Riddle sponsors the Senate version. She says Senate Bill 596 will stop frivolous lawsuits. This common sense tort reform proposal gives individuals injured by a defective or unsafe product a 10-year window to file a lawsuit. A reasonable statute of repose is something that must be added to our laws. If we expect Missouri to be a place that continues to attract manufacturing companies to our state. Senator Riddle points out about 20 states have similar statutes limiting lawsuits. She says the lack of such legislation drives up the cost of business and forces companies to move, but declined to offer specific examples. Brett Adams and his lawyer question the true motivation behind these bills, but say to them the consequences are pretty clear. The average person even listening to this have no idea. They just drive by him every day, you drive over bridges, and, and no one thinks this could happen to me. Right now, there's an interesting dynamic in Jefferson City. Some lawmakers aren't pushing their bills. Concerned Governor Greitens could use their bills as political leverage now that impeachment is looming. So we'll keep an eye on what passes and what doesn't. Angie Bracono, KCTV 5 News.